comes to customer satisfaction, it seems Aussie consumers are not a happy bunch. One report has found that nearly 40% of us think companies are paying less attention to shoppers compared to other countries, while more than 30% report that our expectations of big business are not being met. So, when it comes to uh, going on the record with our gripes, how can we complain effectively? Use social media to our advantage and bypass the biggest mistakes commonly made. For more on this, we're joined by our consumer expert, Joe Uchuklo. Good morning, Joe. Lovely to see you. Good morning. Uh, what's the first step? Oh, look, the first step is start taking notes. As soon as you sense that a complaint might eventuate, take notes, record names, dates and what was discussed, and then start doing a bit of research. Work out if other people are having a similar issue. Start getting to know what the terms, you know, fit for purpose and major defe defect versus minor defect. Mm. Yeah, compile a dossier. I do that quite a bit <laughs> with the crew. Don't I, boys? Uh, the biggest mistake people make when complaining. So the biggest mistake is they pay before they complain. So if you've got a problem, put the bill on hold and then make your complaint and say, I'll pay it once it's resolved. Mm. People also get so emotional. And emotions yeah, when you're yeah. complaining, they only deter from getting a good outcome. They also forget to set deadlines. So unless you say, will you call me back by Friday, yeah. it can seem like an endless, you know, endless mm. process yeah. that never, never finishes. You want to see a bit of a paper trail, don't you? Should, should you email or... I mean, you, I was going to say call in person, but you're going to spend four hours on the phone to anyone at the moment. Right? Yeah, so it really depends. Because what also happens is the longer it takes for you to get a response or a resolution to your outcome, the more likely you are to forget. So sometimes the phone is the best option, but it really depends on how to get to the manager the quickest. So if that's in person for a store, say, do that. If it's on the phone because you're able to get it escalated to the manager, yeah. do that. And writing is by far our preference when it comes to a simple inquiry or a simple complaint. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. what about social media? Everyone's on it these days, everyone's on Facebook, everyone's... Do you yeah. use that or not? And look, social media can be massively effective and here's the best way um, to get the brand to respond to your complaint. What you should do is start by using the existing um, contact channels, whether that is phone, for email, whatever it is. But that's basically to build out a case and to make it see, or you know, validate we'll go about that you've the right tried. Way first. Exactly, yeah. go about it the right way. But then go to the channel which the um, the brand is interacting with their customers the most. Um, and also, again, be specific with your complaint. Set a deadline um, and, and tell a real story. And that's mm. what will engage the audience back with you. All right, so we get our message across to the company. What are some of the tactics the company's using then to cool us off and, and, and get us to drop the complaint? Oh, my gosh. Like I said earlier, the longer it takes for you to resolve your complaint, the less likely you are to get an outcome, which is why you'll get either delays to your response. Sometimes it might take 15 yes. days. Mm. And also, sometimes the first response is nonsensical. Like, it doesn't even address what you've said. So they could also use to redirect you to other departments. Again, this is like fatiguing you. Who wants to spend 40 minutes on hold? Right. Mm. Um, and look, the worst case... And they're case doing this on purpose, too. Yeah. yeah. And the worst case we've ever had is where we were dealing with a car manufacturer and they said the only way we would know if the brakes were the problem, the, ma the manufacturing of the brakes were the problem, is, is if we drove with the driver every kilometre that they drove. So they try to shift that back onto, you, onto the oh, consumer, onto right. you, to say, you didn't do the right okay, thing. OK, we have some tips here, just as we say uh, goodbye to you. These are tips for not getting emotional when we find ourselves in this situation and they are going to be no tips. <laughs> I think this happened last time, didn't it? I think it happened last time. We'll put those up on our website. It's, if you, it's value adding. If you, if, if you want the tips, just call the Morning Show call centre. Uh, good, good on our website, we'll through. make sure we, we place Try those and escalate tips it. for yeah, Try and escalate getting it. emotion. Great tips. Thank you, Joe. So good sure. to see you.